The company was started by my grandfather, Walter Malcolm, nearly 100 years ago. After that, my brother and I joined Andrew Stray after school, me after university, and developed the logistics and the construction service offering. We've been here for, as a family for nearly 100 years. We'd like to be here for another 100 years. What we've been trying to do at Lone Head is build a complete offering. Any vehicle that comes in loaded, previously tipped in the landfill, and we always try to get a load of primary aggregate back out the door. What we've done now with the wash plant coming in, and vehicles come in, the majority are now going to the wash plant, the tipping material be recycled, or go to the landfill site and tip. And we're trying to get every vehicle load of material back out, whether it's primary aggregate or recycled material from the wash plants. Malcolm Group's very forward-looking and is centred around sustainability and the circular economy. We've initially installed our first wet processing recycling plant with Malcolm Group over 10 years ago. This newest addition was to really ramp up the tonnages and provide a more sustainable aggregate resource close to the Glasgow market. Loanheads are main recycling and quarrying facility. This site here services up to Farris, probably north of Glasgow. The waste we are processing on site here is construction and demolition excavation waste. But typically Glasgow has been known for high clay bound material. It makes it very difficult for dry processing. So we have no other solution here but a wet processing plant. We spent five years uh, reviewing CD plants old and new to try and design the perfect plant for us. We had a lot of ideas we wanted to incorporate in this plant. We want it always at a high level so the operator never has to come down onto the ground when he was doing a check of the plant. We put the control cabin at a high level of windows so the operator can see the whole plant from the control cabin. It just it had to work from an operator's point of view. The products we produce, we use the gravels for pipe beddings. Uh, the, 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 we'll get washed concrete sand, get mixed with gravels and that's going into volumetric mixers for concrete and we use sands for utility companies for cable sands. The products that come off, both before they even come into the site, are extensively tested from the ground investigation reports. And then once produced, they are tested both at point of production and in situ on development sites as they are supplied. We work with multiple universities and colleges in research projects to look at how we can better and further move those products up the supply chain, giving confidence to both our customers and ultimately the regulators. Alcom Construction have been looking at the use of filter cake for a good number of years and we've looked at the end of waste case for filter cake. We developed some very interesting protocols for the use of the material as a substitute both in the clay engineering materials for use in landfill works and also as a substitute for subsoil and topsoil previously. They need amelioration to do some of those projects and that's where we focused our attention on. We think there's a continued requirement for those products and it's very much led by supply and demand. We found that what we can't keep up with is 10 and 20 mil gravel. The quality is that good, we sell everything we make. So we've now just been an investment for an impact crusher and we're now going to crush the, the low grade oversize to produce that back into 10 and 20 mil gravel. CD, as they know, we're not the cheapest option, but we'll never be the cheapest option either. We go for the most cost-effective option for ourselves. It's been a first-class experience for us. Uh, the build quality is excellent. The material produced is very good as well. We have no problem recommending the CD to end there. The original wash plant we installed for Malcolm's over 10 years ago to date has diverted over 1.5 million tonnes from landfill. The larger system that we've recently installed here at Lone Head is on target to divert over 500,000 tonnes of material every year from landfill. The decision to go for the new plant was basically we were found a landfill site faster than any spot we'd fill it. Now with the plant in there we're diverting between 80 and 90 percent from landfill uh, which is now going into our wet processing plant. It was an easy decision to go for for the new plant. It makes us a one-stop shop. We've got landfill recycling and quarrying all under one roof. A game changer.